I've been having this conversation about ultimately going teetotal and, and, you know, completely putting a stop to the alcohol, um, where I'm struggling and where I'm having this mental battle is full transparency is, is the actual social aspect where for me, you know, I've got, I'm at that prime age right now for all of my friends are getting uh, married and, and uh, you know, all of these parties and everyone's having their 30th birthdays or, or along those lines. And the peer pressure is saying that I know I need to stand up to better ultimately. So I imagine it was very confrontational for you when you did eventually stop and you had to change your people, the places, the things. Um, how did you overcome that? Or was it as simple as like, no, decision made, moving on? So this goes back to counseling. My counselor recommended that I take 90 days off. Just go 90 days without alcohol. Just kind of show yourself who's the boss. See what, see how you feel. Just test it out. And at first I was, I was like, no, I said, I, I, I can't do that. Right. I, yeah, I said, no, I can't, no way. It, it's too much fun. Right. It's, it's like, to me, I had tied it to so many special memories, right. Where I'm, you know, hanging out on the dock with friends, sipping some beers, jumping in the water, hanging out, having fun, throwing a Frisbee, you know, it was tied to this, like this nostalgic summertime, easy going kind of vibe. Right. And it's like, if I don't have alcohol, I'm going to lose that whole experience, right? I'm going to lose that whole social aspect. I'm going to, then my whole friend network is going to fracture and fall apart. Or I'm going to be the weird one or what, you know, I, there's a million things that went through my mind. Right. And so I told him I wasn't going to do it. I'm not, I was like, eh, you know, maybe later. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had the most epic hangover of my entire life. I, I, I had drank my way through an entire weekend from like a Friday afternoon, you know, through the evening, fall asleep, wake up, have a nice beer in the morning with breakfast. Right. And then start again the next day and then fall asleep, wake up. And I did it again. Right. And so like my body was just a wreck. I couldn't eat. I couldn't even drink water. Like I was just messed up. I, I, I was, I had driven my friend down to this campground and I had to have him drive back the rest of the way because like, I just, I couldn't physically drive. And it wasn't because I was inebriated. It was because my body was so wrecked from alcohol. And so, so I'm in this spot, I'm laying on my bed and the Alcoholics Anonymous book is on my shelf right next to my bed. And I'm like, oh, son of a gun. So I pick up the book. I started leafing through it a little bit. My counselor had given it to me and I'm leafing through it a little bit. And, you know, I kind of read some stuff and I'm like, you know what? I've always made fun of my friends when they have a hangover the next morning and they're like, oh, I'm never drinking again. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll see you at the bar tonight, bud. You know, like, and I would, and they'd be there the next, the same night, yeah, you know, we'd be having dog. a good time. Yeah. Share the dog. Let's just nip it. You know, we're going to be good. Um, and so I knew that like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Right. So I was like, okay, I'm going to commit to 90 days. That's where I started. I'm like, okay, 90 days off. It's not that big a deal. It's three months. Right. But in that three months, there's going to be some major drinking holidays, right? There's going to be some major parties, yeah. maybe some weddings, some other stuff. Right. And there's going to be a lot of times that I'm going to get challenged with that. So I committed to 90 days and then just kind of went about life as usual, kept going to all my same stuff, kept doing all the same things. And a few of my friends took it very poorly that I was not drinking anymore. Right. They, they, it was like an affront to them. It was an, it was offensive that I was doing that to them. Right. You know, I used to be one of their best drinking buddies. Now I'm like, what are you doing? Right. So that, that hurt. I'm going to be very honest. It was very, very painful to have these people who I was very close with treating me that way. And I was fortunate in that it was never just a one-on-one -on -one situation. It was usually a group situation. And so it, it kind of got diffused relatively quickly, but it still kind of stung, mm -hmm. but it, it stung in a way that made me realize like, I'm kind of acting like a mirror right now. And this, and this guy just saw his reflection and he didn't like it. Yeah. And so I didn't take it as him attacking me. I took it as this particular guy was, was really probably more attacking himself. He was, he was disappointed that he wasn't going to have someone who was going to enable him in that kind of a way. And, and so after that 90 days, ups and downs, but really no major challenges as far as peer pressure. A lot of the peer pressure was made up in my head mm -hmm. and got to the end of the 90 days. And I was like, I feel better than I ever have in my life. 
I have slept better. I have done more workouts. I have grown more personally. I feel better emotionally. And it was just, it was so hard to, to place what the difference was other than alcohol. Right. Cause I've been doing tons of, tons of uh, personal growth work, tons of counseling, all that other stuff. Right. But it was once I got off that cycle of, of every, you know, at that point I'd gotten to where I was maybe binge drinking once or twice a month. And, you know, so that's, you know, three to five cycles of binge drinking that I didn't go through. Right. And I found that I'd been able to better process what was going on. I had a better, better handle on myself, my life. And at the end of that 90 days, I took honest stock, honest reflection. And I was like, I feel so good right now. I never want to go back. Um, it was, it was that stark of a difference. Yeah. Now, granted it was, it, I was in a dark, dark place coming from that. Right. So for people that are, you know, not drinking as much, or it's not as intense, the difference may not be quite as clear. Yeah. Right. Um, but that's, that was kind of me with my journey was committing to that 90 days first. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to hit subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video.